Yeah, this is another good one. Um, how how do you or how have you approached skepticism from or towards brain training methods, especially from the scientific community? Because I know people in the scientific community are like, oh, you know, that's because they'll nit they nitpick any new methods that people are trying or modalities that people might be advocating for. Yeah. But you know, as long as you're not claiming to be a doctor and all that kind of stuff, right? Which some people try and do, which you got to stay away from that. But yeah. have, you, have you received any kind of skepticism or criticism for this vital brain method, like recently or during along the way? Yeah, there was one lady I tried to send a book to so she could read it. And I had done an interview with her years ago. And she just read um, the paragraph blurb and sent me an email back that said, uh, congratulations on finishing your book. What you're doing can't work at all. Here's a link to my book so you can see that what you're doing can't work. Congratulations on finishing the book. Something along those lines. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I had already read her book. And there's there's nothing in it that actually they support each other pretty well. But she wouldn't need, she didn't even want me to send her the book. And for like three hours, I was like, babe, what does she think I'm doing? She doesn't know what it is. And it, that was before the book was out. So I had only taught, you know, 20 or 30 people that I know personally those methods. So she was kind of jumping to conclusions and then a little bit attacked me, um, you know, in terms of what it was that she didn't understand. She was very polite about finishing the book, um, but it was interesting. I, I wonder what she thinks it is because she she can't know 